Hey guys, um, today I'll be doing a video on one digit quotients. One digit quotients is probably going to be the easiest lesson on dividing. So the first thing that you need to learn about one digit quotients is that you might get huge problems. Um, for example, you get 275 as a dividend and um, 38 as a divisor. Well, this looks really hard, but let me just show you how to do it in an easier way. First, we need to estimate these. So, so no, actually, first, let's go ahead and check if um, 2 can go in 38. No, because less than 38. So, now let's go, go ahead and add the, 20, the 7. So, can 27 go in 38? No, it's still less. Now, let's add the 5. So, can 275 go in 38? Yes, it can, because it's greater than 38. But... What is the closest number? That's why you, we use estimation. So let's round the 38 into a 40. Let's round the 275 to uh, 280. And automatically know that 40 times 7 is 280. So first number now we'll start with is 7. So let's do 38 times 7. 7 times 8 is 56, 7 times 3 is 21, 21 plus 5 is 26, 266, this is pretty close to 275, but I want to go one more step further to actually check them, maybe there's a closer answer, you know, so 38 times 8, and 8 times 8 is 64, I think that's 6 over here, 8 times 3 is 24, so 24 plus 6, 10, 3, and that's the 304. But 304 is greater than 275, so we'll have to go with 38 times 7. So let me erase that over here so it understands. But now we have 38 times 7, and we get a 2, 66. And now we subtract that. So 15, so 5 can go into the 5 minus 6. Well, 5 is smaller. So we'll borrow 1. I'll make it 15. 15 minus 6 is a 9. Since we borrowed that 1, the 7 will become a 6. 6 times minus 6 is evenly goes into. So that will be a 0. And 2 minus 2 evenly go into. So that will be a 0 as well. And now we get a number 9. So, since we cannot do 9 furthermore, uh, our answer will be, our, I mean our quotient will be 7 remainder 9. Now let's do another example. So, for example, we have um, 445 and we have 88. Now remember, first we ask, first we look if um uh, four can go to eighty eight. No, it can't. Can forty four go into eighty eight? No, it's still smaller. Can four hundred forty five go into eighty eight? Yes, it can, cause it's greater than eighty eight. So now we use estimation to check the closest number that we we should multiply with. So we'll round the eighty eight to a ninety. We'll round the four hundred forty five to a 450 and we automatically know that 90 times 5 is 450 so our first number would be 5 so 88 times 5 is 5 eighths of 40 5 eighths of 40 40 plus 4 is of 44 so we get a 440 let's just do one more to see if there's even a closer answer so we're going to do 88 times 6 6 times 8 is 48 bring the 4 over 6 times 8 is 48 again 48 plus 4 is 528. 528 is obviously greater than 445. So we will have to go with 88 times 5.
Okay? So, AD times 5 is 444 bits. So, wait a second. I forgot. So, it's actually even better to leave that there, but... Oh well, so four eight to five eight to forty. Five eight to forty. Forty plus four is a four hundred forty. Change that one. Four hundred forty. Now we subtract. So five minus zero is five. Four minus four it goes evenly. Four goes into four evenly, so we get zero. Four goes into four evenly, so we get zero again. So now we have a remainder of 5, since we cannot do further more with the 5. So our quotient will be 5 remainder 5. To understand this topic better on one digit quotients, you can visit our website where we, I, I, I have put some examples for you to do. And we'll see you guys next time.